booktube it's thea and this is going to be my december wrap up so for december i have a total of six books and two graphic novels three of the novels came from tis the seasonathon um which i didn't do a full wrap up for because i figured i would just include it in my december wrap up so let's go ahead and dive right in the first thing that I read and completed in December is Revival Volume 3, A Far Away Place. Um, I have been slowly making my way through this graphic novel series and I am really enjoying it. It's kind of a dark um, thriller, noir, wintery read um, that takes place in a rural Wisconsin town um, and basically all of a sudden the dead are coming back to life and most of them are pretty unviolent, pretty most of them are not violent they just like go home and like want to spend time with their families but there are a few that are becoming violent and it follows um, our main character dana who is the officer for this town and her sister comes back to life and she wasn't even aware that her sister was dead to begin with so it's about kind of um figuring out what caused this what caused the people in the town to come back to life who killed her sister and why are some of them turning violent it's a really good kind of dark graphic noir um it's a little dark but it's really fun wintry read it's been really fun reading it um and i really enjoyed this third volume i gave it four stars and then it was time for Tis the Seasonathon, and the first thing that i picked up and read was kiss me in new york by katherine ryder this is a ya Histor uh, YA romance contemporary that takes place in New York City on Christmas Eve. It follows Charlotte and Anthony who uh, both just got over breakups. Anthony was at the airport to surprise his girlfriend where she breaks up with him and Catherine was at the airport heading home after a breakup with her boyfriend on a rough semester and basically um, it's about each of them getting over their exes and spending time in New York City and kind of trying to get over that. It was it was cute. It was all right. There wasn't a lot of substance to it. Um, I thought I was going to like it a lot more because it takes place in New York City, which I love. YA romance, which is cute and fluffy um, and around Christmas time, which I also love. But it just, it was just all right for me. I just wish there was a little more substance to it. Um, it could have been a lot better if there was just a little more. There was a lot of heart there, but not a lot of follow through. But for me, it was just okay, um, and so I ended up giving it three and a half stars. During Tis the Season, when I also picked up A Boy Called Christmas by Matt Haig. I was really looking forward to this. Um, I know April from April's Maximus really loves Matt Haig, and this is the first kind of book that I have read from him. It's a children's middle grade about, basically it follows how Nicholas, how St. Nicholas became Santa Claus. Um, it was really cute. Um, there was a lot of illustrations throughout, and it's a really quick, fast-paced read, and it's just a really cute book that I could see um, a child really liking during Christmas time, or a parent reading to a child during Christmas time, and um, while I'm not the target audience, I still really enjoyed it, and it just had a lot of heart. It was very cute and uh, really innocent, and I gave it four stars. And the last book that I picked up and read for Tis the Season Thon is What Light by Jay Asher. This has been on my TBR for two years or so, a little over maybe. Um, it's been something I have been waiting to read around Christmas time because it follows um, it follows Sierra and moving. She has a Christmas tree farm with her family, and every year they pack up and go. And every year they pack up from Oregon to California to sell Christmas trees and. It's a YA contemporary about her meeting a boy and falling in love. Um, for me, it was just okay. Um, I had, I've had, i heard pretty mixed things about it as well. This is the first thing I've read by Jay Asher. I never read 13 Reasons Why, um, so this is my first novel from him. And it just it didn't feel like there was a lot to the story. There wasn't really a lot going on. Um, the writing style just felt okay to me. Um, and there wasn't really a lot to connect with. I didn't really feel like there was a, really a lot to the book, so I ended up giving it three stars. Then after I finished Tis the Thesemathon, I didn't really know what I was gonna read. I had a couple books on my shelf that were 2018 releases that I figured I could try to go ahead and pick up, so I picked up Unearthed by Amy Coffin and Megan Spooner. I've had this book since it came out. Um, this was one of the ones that I got signed and personalized when I went to the release party in New York City at Books of Wonder. I had 
really high expectations going into this because I love Amy Kaufman um, and it sounded like it was just going to be the perfect like YA sci-fi that I was really wanting um, and when it, I was super intrigued by the plot and like kind of the way that they had pitched it and I was so disappointed that I didn't love this. I didn't hate it but I didn't love it and I ended up giving it three stars. I ended up giving it three stars. I just it for me it took a long time to get going um and I just I was just didn't feel like it the journey was worth it to me just because it did take a little bit of time to get going and then by the time I was invested it was and then by the time I was invested it was almost over so um I do want to pick up the sequel I think I might give this a reread maybe later on this year um when I'm maybe in a different mindset but I think I just had such high expectations because I love Amy Kaufman. I love um, the Illuminae Files with Jay Kristoff. And so I had really, really high expectations going into this. And my expectations were let down a little bit. But um, I still enjoyed it. I still, I still had a lot of fun reading it. Um, and so I just felt like it took too long to get going. And um, by the time I was invested, it wasn't worth the journey at that point and so I ended up only giving it three stars and then after I finished that I needed something kind of to lift my spirits back up again um and so I picked up Super Sons of Tomorrow which is part of the DC Rebirth series um this is a it's kind of a standalone um within like the Super Sons series and um this follows a feature this follows um Tim Drake who comes back from the future and Rila and is trying to get the Teen Titans to kill uh, Jonathan Kent because he says that in the future he kind of destroys the world. Um, so it does have some time travel which I was not planning on knowing which I didn't know about going in. Um, I had just really enjoyed the Super Sun series and so I thought oh this is going to be like the same thing and I, I don't know I'm just kind of I think I'm just done with like time travel in general and like trying to change the past so that you can change the future so um I did end up giving it like 3.25 stars um I do really enjoy the Super Sun series so I still had like the enjoyment of being within the world but I just I think I'm just so done with time travel that it made me not love the story so for this I gave it like 3.25, 3.5 stars. Um, and then I picked up Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince for a reread, um, just because it's December. It was like right after the holidays. I needed just something to kind of get ready for the new year. I wasn't quite ready to start anything new yet, and I've been slowly working through my reread of this series. It's Harry Potter. I loved it reading this time around. I haven't actually read Half-Blood Prince since like right before the seventh book came out. So it's been a long time since I've read it. And it was really fun to um, revisit the world and revisit the series. This is one of my favorite books in the series. So it was a lot of fun to revisit. And of course I gave it five stars. But um, it was really fun to pick this up and read it this month as well. And my final book that I read in 2018, I'm so glad I ended the year reading this, was... The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reads. This, what can I say about this if it hasn't already been said? Everyone read it this year. Everyone loved it. Um, I read it. I loved it. It's absolutely amazing. I gave it five stars. <clears throat> it's my favorite read of December. It's my favorite read of 2018. It's one of my favorite. It's now one of my all-time favorite books. I just absolutely loved it everything about this book. I love Evelyn Hugo as a character. She's such an interesting, complex character. She's Cuban. She's bisexual, which we don't see a lot of in, um, in literature in general. This book made me laugh. It absolutely destroyed me. It made me, like, ball. And I was so invested in the story and so invested in Evelyn Hugo's story and, care and like, her as a character. Reading it, I... For, I was forgetting that it was she was a fictional character. It felt like I was reading a like real life like past story of a like famous woman, a famous act, a famous actress, and the writing was just absolutely amazing. And I absolutely loved this. Um, and I give it five stars. So this is everything that I read in December. My last books of twenty eighteen. Um, I had some 
new favorites. I got to revisit an old favorite, um, a couple things that were just okay, but over overall it was a very successful December, um, and I'm really happy with how my progress, how my reading went in December. What did you guys read in December? Um, if you, any, as always, if you have any thoughts, comments, and opinions about any of these, I'd love them down in the comments below. If you like any reviews, also let me know. Um, I hope everyone had a great Christmas. Happy New Year. Um, 2018 is over. It's crazy. Feels like it was just January, like, last month. Um, but I had a pretty, I had a pretty good year. Um, and I got... I have, I have some new favorite books. So I hope everyone had a great 2018. I uh, hope everyone had a great Christmas. Happy New Year. Um, thank you so much for watching. Happy reading. And I will see you guys later. Bye.